Hello, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Thank you for watching. Good morning. I am down to just half of a serving of my chocolate electrolytes. I make my own, I have for a while. If you wanna see um, another like a video that's just about those, um, you can search Terry Least Lights, L-Y-T-E-S, or Terry Least Electrolytes. Um, they should pop up. Um, it's in one of my playlists. So what I did was I looked at the Redmond container and the, the, uh, the, uh, the Relight container and then the um, Element container. And I noticed that um, they, uh, each packet had about 1,000 milligrams of sodium and 540, that was kind of the go-between, of potassium. So 1.4 grams of salt is 1,000 milligrams of sodium. 1.1 grams of potassium is 540 milligrams of sodium. The container of the Relight <clears throat> was 210 grams and the serving was 7 grams. So that's kind of the base numbers of what I use and why. So now, in order to have 1,000 milligrams in 30 servings, I have 42 grams of sodium. So that's what I use and how I get my basis number. So I put it on grams, I zero it out, and I put in 42 grams of sodium. You can use whatever salt you like. Okay. And then, and it is never exact, but you know. And then you zero it out, and now we use 22 grams of our salt substitute. Now remember, this stuff comes out like nobody's business. It's really fine and powdery. So 22 grams. Okay. Then, I add 146 grams of this cocoa, and, um, and together it will all add up to 210 grams. This is the one I use. Um, somebody had mentioned that it has two carbs and two fibers, so if you're doing net carbs, they count each other out. So, if you zero it out, if you can get it open, zero it out, and it's 146 grams. Feel like a scientist when I make my electrolytes. I feel like a fancy, famous scientist. Um, when you are done, it is extremely powder and it will adhere to the lid and it will adhere to your your thing, whatever you use to scoop it with. So it is so fine. So then you take it and you shake it up. But I just wanted you to know it's not something that you know, you can just put in something and stir up one time and be done with it because it really adheres to whatever you put into it or whatever you put it in. <clears throat> Need to order more real salt. And that's how it looks. So that's what I put in my coffee every day. And... When I'm in the mood and I feel like I need it, that's what I put in my water with some flavored electrolytes. Like I said, you can do a search on Terry Lee's electrolytes and you can see how I make my flavored water. It's not clean, but you know, we do what we do sometimes. So, all right, now I'm gonna get ready for breakfast. It is breakfast time and I'm just feeling some bacon and eggs this morning. Not really gonna do <coughs> A whole lot extra so I broke out my tallow and um, so I'm gonna use this tallow this is some of my homemade tallow so I got some of that going and I'll get back when it's melted 
By the way, I'm, I did not watch any videos yesterday, Saturday. I just needed, I was detoxing from the world. And so, you know, I made my chaffles and I just video gamed all day. I'm playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And um, it's funny, a couple of my younger coworkers just found out that I game younger girls and they're like, I can't believe you game. That is so cool. That is so cool. I'm like, well, I don't know. It just gives me something to do to detox from a bad day or, you know, if I go home and I'm in a good mood and I want to just go game and anyway, it's very therapeutic. So uh, anyway, so yeah, I just video gamed all day, but I'll holler when that's done. So once my tallow is melted and it's good and hot, hot, I use the medium setting and medium is just straight up and down. You know, you got your off, which is straight up. Medium is straight down. So when I heat it up, it's straight down. And then whenever I put the water and lid over it, I just turn it straight sideways. So right now it's straight up and down. Later on, it's going to be straight to the, I don't know, half of medium, whatever half of medium is. So now I'll crack my eggs in here. Maybe. Oops, broke that one. I'll crack this one. Yay, I didn't break that one. And I'll do one more. Ah, another one I didn't break. And then I'll pour my water in. And while these are cooking for the two minutes, I will um, I'll microwave my bacon. So now I cover it. And then turn it down half of medium. And I'll set the timer for two minutes. Oh, you guys. I see, didn't season it. There's my salt. There's my pepper. You all know I'm going to do that every time, every time. I just have a problem remembering. And since I just made my electrolytes, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of potassium to there. And I'll see you in two minutes. Alrighty. Basically, what I think is it... Well, that doesn't look like it's... That's not done. Hold on. I think these are going to be over medium. I'm not sure what happened. But they're definitely not as white as they usually are. The yolk looks done, but uh, or the uh, the whites are done. But these are definitely over medium today, and or over over easy today. That'd be all right. I don't know. I use, I do it the same way I always do, but you know, sometimes you just never know what you're going to get. And it might be a little different because I use less water. But, um, oh, hey, no, that's over medium. Look at that. That's over medium. I don't know if you can see it. Hang on. It's, see how it ain't spilling out all over? So it's over medium. All right. It just looks different because I didn't add as much water as usual. So now I'm just going to stir it all up. And this is going to be my breakfast today. So that's what I got. And I will see you all next time so for lunch today i'm having some i think it was pork maybe pork chops that's in the microwave i don't remember what it was but i'm stealing lori fnm's uh stealing her what she made this weekend so let me heat up my skillet and i'll show you i'm gonna go ahead and spray my skillet um if i was using full fat cheese i probably wouldn't need to but Lori made a skillet pizza and she used cheese as her bottom. And so I'm gonna put down, I have some fat free cheese and that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm not gonna put the um, marinara sauce on it. Maybe, well maybe I will, I don't know. But anyway, so she made a skillet pizza and so I'm gonna do that same thing. But I gotta let this heat up, so hold on. If you've watched me very long, you know I'm not really big on cheese. Well, I love cheese, but the problem is I love cheese. And so, unfortunately, um, I don't have a 
an ability to say no or to say, oh gee, that's enough cheese right there. So um, I typically don't use a lot of cheese, but this weekend, you know, I made the chaffles and, um, and so seeing her video, I'm like, oh boy, that looked really good. So I'm using my fat-free cheese and on top of it, I'm gonna put some Italian style herbs. So I'm gonna, we'll see how well this um, uh, fat-free cheese melts. It may not melt worth a hoot, but I use it because it's lower calories. And then I'm gonna put on some of this roasted garlic, rosemary, and salt. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this Creole seasoning and then a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna let this go until it gets brown. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add some of these other things on top of it. So it'll be like a, what well, a vegetarian style pizza. But that's because I have this other stuff in the oven uh, that's coming up too. As it's getting harder, uh, you know, cooking longer, I'm kind of just slowly going around and working my, my thing underneath it. My pancake turner underneath it because my plan is I'm gonna flip it and then I'm gonna add the other the stuff on it all right now we're gonna flip it and I am gonna add just a wee bit of marinara I mean just a wee bit like that's like maybe a tablespoon but just enough just enough to make me happy and then what I'm gonna do now? I don't. Lori didn't do this. Uh, didn't I? Don't think she didn't add marinara to hers. I don't think. Although she might have been. I, I blinked. I don't remember, Lori. Sorry if I say it wrong. Then I'm gonna put some red onions on it. Cause you know me, I love me some onions. I'm going to put some yellow onions on it. And then I'm going to put a little bit of pepper on it. So I'm doing this instead of a salad, to be honest. I just thought it sounded fun. I was just, I was just catching up on my, my videos. I'm, I didn't go to church today. I watched it online. Because I'm going to something here in a little while. So... I am um, after I watched church I started I gotta catch up on my Nona and my and my Lori my Nona Grace and my Lori channel so mm -hmm. anyway so that's gonna be that I'm gonna add a little bit of grated Parmesan to it just a little bit and then I'm gonna cover it I'm going to turn the heat way down and just kind of let it, let it go till some of that softens up and I'll be back. So along with that, this is, um, I think that's beef steak. Hang on. Let me see. Nope. That's pork steak. Told y'all. I don't label it. I don't know. That's the one I grilled. So I definitely did not season it that day. So I'm putting some salt. And some of this, some of this, so it kind of ties my pork steak to that. Kind of has it in the same, same flavor. Now I need to shake it up. Hold on. Stir it up, not shake it up. Ha, ha, ha. But anyway, so this is what I'm going to have with that little personal pizza. Now, you just get a little, that's going to be good. I'll be back whenever this, the, the timer goes off. <clears throat> hey, I am going to add a touch of salt to the top of those vegetables and a little bit of this Creole seasoning. But just a little bit of that. All right, 30 more seconds. All right. Let's see if we can... This logic from the pan. 
We did, good, good. I'm gonna just kind of put the seasonings back on top of it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this up, hang on. I still have my pizza cutter, which is kind of funny. Probably should let it cool all the way before cutting it. But that makes too much sense, and we know I'm not always known for making the most sense. This is the pork chop or pork steak. Hey, before you grill, do you all like soak your meat in a brine? Do you season it before you grill? Do you, do you season it after your grill? What's kind of like the right thing to do when it comes to grilling? Like, what, how do you take care of your meat? Yeah. That's good. Now let's try our little pizza. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a fun little side. I like it. Still lower calorie, less carbs than what I usually have in my salad. So that's a win-win. All right, bye. Hey, really quick, I'm about to leave. And um, I cut up two apples. <clears throat> I didn't have any for lunch and I did it on purpose. I'm gonna take these with me. It's a 15 minute drive, not that I need to eat to drive, but having this on board and fresh in my mouth when I get there, um, hopefully it'll help me avoid cake and all that stuff. Um, I'm also taking my church swag. I've got water in here and, um, I'll sip around on this. So, um, yeah, I've got my water and my apple. I won't take the apple in. I'll have it finished before I get there. But anyway, hey, got on my thrift store outfit. Look, this is purple. It's hard to tell. And then this skirt, it's got just a little hint of... Well, there's really no purple in it, but I don't care. So, got on some thrift store swag, and I'm carrying my church swag. So, okay, bye. So, I did get some fruit, and I got a couple carrots, and I got some cheese, and there's a couple nuts under there, and a strawberry, and this is some kind of blueberry cheese. So, I did pick up a few things. Yes, yes, I know. Don't judge me. So supper tonight, I'm trying to finish up like all my servings of vegetables that I have. This is green bean casserole. And then this is some, looks like some more grilled pork steaks. So I'm gonna add some, um, I'll add some G Hughes barbecue sauce. I'm gonna add 30 grams, just for a little something something. And there is no seasoning on it. So I'm gonna add a little seasoning to it as well. Close enough. 28 grams. I won't cry if I'm a little short. I definitely want some salt. And I think it would be good with some, uh, come on, fella. Ah. I'm gonna put some of my Greek seasoning on it. A little bit of Greek seasoning. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of some of the uh, where is it, adobo seasoning. I think that might be good on pork. I don't know. I've never put it on there before, I don't think. And I'll put a little bit of my smoked paprika. All right, so I've already microwaved this for one minute. I'm gonna microwave it again because I want that barbecue sauce to, to warm up. So I'll microwave this and I'll get back with you. Okay, and I even read it, GBC. So green bean casserole, not cabbage, Terry, which is CGB. No, CB, CBG, dadgummit, whatever it is. So let's get this stirred up. And I'm just eating regular. This I know I had those things at the party, but now I'm just gonna eat regular. And then this week I'll eat regular. And whatever I gain today, well, I will lose this week. That's just kind of how it's gotta roll, you know? So let's see about this green bean casserole. I made this, I think Easter. So this is definitely old, but it's been in the freezer. Mm-hmm. Mm. Heat salt. Let's see if that does it. Had a good time at the bridal shower. I won a blanket and $10 gift card to Chick-fil-A. That's Jesus chicken, y'all. Anyway, um, so, um, and then, and the blanket I've just got in the other room. Let's see if I burn myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy, that's good stuff. So that's going to be my supper. All right, I'll see you all next time.